Welcome to Blender to WebGL. This is a short video tutorial where I'm going to show you a basic workflow of exporting 3D data from a modeling package and the texture to a WebGL friendly format. Well, we're actually going to export it to Collada, which is a 3D format. Then we're going to use a JavaScript library called cubicvr.js. It knows how to take that 3D Collada data and use the web browser to render that using your computer's 3D hardware. So if you go to Blender, Org. you can download Blender 2.5, it must be 2.5 or higher, otherwise your export process is going to be screwed. And run the uh, Blender package and you'll get a user interface like this. You can use the um, scroll wheel to zoom in and out of the 3D view. If you hold the scroll wheel down you can rotate as well. I'm going to take the mouse cursor and right click on the 3D view, choose split area which gives me this line lets me divide up the user interface. We'll use the left mouse button to click on this line and that will do the division. We're going to use this cube icon which drops down some options where you can select UV image editor. Now this is the texture space we're going to be painting into and eventually export our PNG. Before we start painting in texture space we're going to use the tab key with the mouse in the 3D view to change to edit mode. Once we're in edit mode in the object, we're going to hit the U key on the keyboard, which is going to bring up the UV mapping options. Now we're going to pick in this instance light map pack, which will distribute the faces nicely in the texture space here. And you can see there the six sides of the cube are represented. Please also note this UV text, which we could call it anything, but we'll leave it for now. Just remember that for later, that's the um, mapping coordinates of your texture. We're going to need an actual texture to paint on, at the moment there's nothing there, so we're going to click New. We're going to call this Smiley Face. Now you can use a texture 64, 128, 1024. Um, if you're using a regular shape texture you won't see it, but make sure you pick a power of 2 texture. We're going to click in the area here to choose the colour a nice yellow for the smiley. We're going to click OK and now you can see that the texture space has been filled up with the yellow color. We're going to come back down to the 3D view and we're going to change the mode to texture paint and you'll see that the um, cube is then represented with its texture color. Now I'm going to use the mouse to zoom in and rotate. Now I'm going to paint straight onto this face. Before I do that I'm going to choose black I'm going to change the radius, make it a little bit smaller, and change the strength, which is actually the opacity, one being completely opaque and zero being completely transparent. So we're going to paint a smiley face here. Awesome. And then if we hit tab to go back into edit mode, we can see which face the smiley has been drawn in the UV coordinate space. Currently this texture data is just being generated within Blender, but we're going to want to export that to a PNG that's going to be importable for the browser. So before we start exporting this object, we are going to download cubicvr.js. So you go back to your browser and you go to github.com where it says search. You're going to type cubicvr. Now there are two versions here. We have Cubic VR, which is the C++ version. And then we have the Cubic VR JavaScript version for the web browser. You can download and pick a targz or a zip. If you have Git installed on your system, you'll be able to use your terminal to Git clone the repo. And I'm just putting this into my htdocs directory which I'm using Apache to serve the files. If you go into cubicvr.js samples collada you will see a file called colladaduck.html. If I go back into my web browser and I look on localhost, refresh, I can see cubicvr, I click on samples, collada and colladaduck. 
And what we can see once we do that is this um, 3D model duck. Again, I'm using the mouse to rotate around the object. So we're going to change this duck into a smiley. I want you to come back to the UV image editor, choose image, and save as image. We're going to go to the directory where you downloaded cubicvr.js. We're going to click in to samples, collada, and I'm just going to save it straight into this directory as smileyface.png. Save image. Just jump to the file window and see we have the texture saved. Once you have your image saved out, you're going to need to attach it to the 3D data. Now there's two things that you have to do in this process. The first one is to come over to the properties tab where you can see the materials. I want you to click on texture where you can see the current generated texture. What I want you to do is change the type from none to image or movie and then down here where you see the open button, click on that. Choose your smileyface.png file. Now cubicvr.js will now know that we'll need to pull this texture in when it loads the collada file. There's one final thing you need to do before you export your 3D file and that is to change the coordinates from generated to UV and then you need to pick the layer UV text, which we talked about remembering earlier. If you don't do both of these things before you export your Collada file, you won't see your texture on your object. So the final thing we're going to do in Blender is go to File, choose Export, Collada, and in the same directory, smileyface.dae, and Export. We'll go back to the file window and we can see the um, file.dae. Now this is actually an XML format file. I'm going to use gedit here and we're going to search for the .png file. So .png and we can see that this PNG has an absolute path. See it starts from C and so on. In the browser environment we're going to want to use a relative path. I'm just going to get rid of the path entirely because we're loading it from the same directory. I'm going to choose save to save the XML data. Then I'm going to drag the collada.html file into the gedit. Once we've opened collada.html, there's two things I want to look at. The first one is where we load the collada. Now this is the command that's used, cubicvr.loadcollada. We're at the moment loading the um, duck.dae, but we're going to change that to smileyface.dae and rather than use the duck directory we're just going to pass the current directory as an argument. The next thing to look at is this get scene object command. This will actually look within your collada data and pick out the correct object. Now for the duck it was called log3sp but for our cube it's going to be called cube. Let me just show you in Blender where you can change the name of that. If you go into the object properties, you can change the name right here at the top. And then when you export the Collada file, you'll be able to use that name to call the get scene object command. So now that we've made those changes, we're going to click File, Save, come back to the web browser, click on Collada Duck, and we can see the cube, the yellow cube right there. It's a little bit small, so we're going to jump back into the editor again. Uh, after this duck object has been created, we're going to change the scale. Originally it starts at 1, 1, 1. We're going to change it to 10, 10, 10 to be 10 times bigger. Save the file, reload, and as you can see, we now have our rather charming smiley face cube. So the workflow from a 3D modeling package to a WebGL browser can be made quite simple. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you do have any comments, please leave a reply at the bottom of the post. Thank you.